project lens that is a very important topic uh, in the interview point of view it's a very important actually okay it's a very important <coughs> everyone i'm i'm telling one thing i will tell one thing maybe uh, as soon as possible i will share all interview question and answers that is the different thing actually everyone concentrate here whatever topics we are discussing in the project class that is very important topics and apart from this interview point of view is a new gl concepts is very important okay apart from project class you people want to look into uh, very very important things i am telling one is new gl concepts and uh, one is uh, automatic payment program and one is integrations let's go through the integration fisd integration and fimm integration like uh, we already discussed right obyc and vkoa settings for my sap fico students and, and uh, let's go through overview of asset accounting let's go through overview of asset accounting and uh, apart from this go to payment terms terms of payment also very important and uh, go through the table analysis anyway in this class we can discuss in the table so fico point of view you can go through that the very very important sometimes interview will ask different remaining things also but this is the very important except okay and my project class uh, topics sessions and fico things you can go through this way also okay new gl concepts automatic payment program integrations overview of asset accounting then uh, you can go all the asset accounting configuration accounting entry postings and all then uh, what we did terms of payment you can go through remaining topics also okay uh, everything and in this uh, co co up to internal order like cost and uh, cost elements internal orders like budgeting you can go through all the topics also it's a major topics okay this is the major topics even remaining things also sometimes they will ask you can as a student you can refer all the things but focus on major things here apart from that you can go through this uh, project class okay all project class topics okay yeah <coughs> now everyone put the heading of today topic is mass changes what is the today topic mass changes mass mass changes mass changes anyone uh, what is the meaning of mass changes what is the meaning of mass at least just meaning leave the sap tell me the mass lot of mass bole to bulk bulk ka okay bulk, yes, bulk apart from that bulk apart from that no yeah, the mass change means uh, we are going to change the um, in multiple document we are going to change uh, for example leasing the block or putting the block mm -hmm, or changing good. the base line date like that uh, we will be doing for a bulk of documents very good very good very good. very good very good very good guys concentrate here mass mass guys concentrate here concentrate here concentrate here everyone concentrate here very important ah huh? very important mass means the t code is the mass actually the t code is the mass <coughs> guys concentrate here multiple multiple master data field change at a time what is mean by mass mass bole to multiple master data fields change at a time example guys example example gl master data gl master data and vendor master data vendor master data vendor master data and customer master data customer master data master data example asset master data profit center master data cost center master data cost element master data any master data guys any master data any master multiple master data example 100 vendors 100 vendors i want to block i want to block at a time 
if i example i have 100 vendors guys i ha i had 100 vendors everyone concentrate here i have 100 vendors i want to block 100 vendors if i do one by one one by one one by one one by one how much time it will take it will take lot of time so if i use the mass t code if i use the mass t code all 100 vendors i want to block at a time example guys at example 200 gls 200 gls like uh, 200 gls text text i want to change 200 gls text i want to change if for example if i change one by one one by one one by one how much time it will take lot of time it will take maybe one day or two day so if i use mass if i use mass multiple master data field change at a time mass mass okay for example i want to change customer master data short key short key if i want to change for example if i want to change only one customer or two customers let's use uh, an example let's use uh, uh, t code what is the t code fd02 for example fd01 fd01 is the create master data create customer master data fd02 is fd02 is change customer master data for example one customer let's use fd01 fd02 two customers let's to take fd02 i want to change thousand customers if i use fd02 how much time it will take lot of time it will take F, fd01 create customer fd02 change customer fd02 change customer okay for example here here fk01 create vendor fk02 change vendor one or two vendors if you want to change you can change fk if you can use fk02 fk02 thousands of vendors i want to change 2000 vendors i want to change if i use fk02 how much time it will take lot of time it will take lot of time it will take so instead of fk02 or fd02 we want to use mass 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 changes even though for gl master data create fs00 change fs00 change also fs00 okay change also fs00 so lot of time it will take lot of time it will take okay lot of time it will take so if i use the mass if i use the mass multiple master data field change at a time maybe it will take very less time will take very less time example example let's do guys let's do guys example let's do vendor master data example let's do let's take vendor master data i want to change i want to change multiple master data example let's take uh, some vendors uh, let's take some vendors uh, <coughs> guys what is the vendor master data tables guys table of vendor master data t a b l e table of vendor master data when table of vendor master data example everyone let's do that this is l f a 1 and l f b 1 this is the vendor tables anyway coming classes we will discuss more information regarding to the regarding to the tables okay <coughs> l f a 1 Ta uh, vendor master data table this is the table this is the table lfb1 even like you know company code level general level this is the tables actually this is the tables how i can check the tables how i can check the tables example t code is called 
एस ई सिक्सटीन एन दिस इज द टी कोड फॉर फंक्शनल पीपुल दिस इज द टी कोड फॉर फंक्शनल पीपुल फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम पीपुल यूज एस सी सिक्सटीन दिस इज ऑल्सो टू चेक द टेबल्स फॉर टेक्निकल पीपुल टेक्निकल पीपुल यूजिंग द एस सी सिक्सटीन फंक्शनल पीपुल यूजिंग द एस सी सिक्सटीन एन दिस इज द टी कोड गाइस and this is the table sir go on mute sir uma shankar gar please go on mute sir please otherwise please join tomorrow if you have any other work <coughs> guys this is the t code and this is the table this is the table for example now first go to table first go to table sc 16n everyone please concentrate here please concentrate here let's open sap you just double click on sap logon pad then click on your logon then enter username and password it's going on browse guys it's going on browse <coughs> now guys concentrate here concentrate here so what is the t code for check the tables se 16n se 16n press enter press enter press enter so this is the tables guys now the table table so what is the table lf a1 and lf b1 let's go to lf b1 lf b1 here here table lf b1 press enter press enter then the company code what is the company code guys my company code is called cm10 my company code is called cm10 then click on here execute example this is my vendor master guys this is my vendor masters this is my vendor masters this is the my vendor masters actually vendors list vendors list hari krishna this is my vendors list okay now guys concentrate here i am repeating once again i am repeating once again guys how i can get vendors list vendors master data how i can get very simple maybe some people know some people does not know who does not know i am repeating once again simply guys the t code go to se16n se16n press enter button in the keyboard press enter button in the keyboard and give it here lf a1 or lf b1 lf a1 lf a1 is the enter here lf a1 is the vendor master data general and lf b1 lf b1 is the vendor master data at company code level same way all the all the things like uh, transactional data master data configurational data all the data stored in tables different different tables is there uh, vendor master data different table customer master data different table gl master data different table transaction data different tables configurational data different tables okay maybe for the interview point of view i will tell you some 20 or 30 tables you can read only that tables remaining things even we also some tables checking in the googles at the time of working 
okay maybe 20 to 25 tables is very important i will give you later you can note it down and by heart in the interview okay so now my target is i want to get my company code tables go to come to sc 16n come to sc 16n give it here lfb1 press enter then my company code cm10 for this company code how many vendors is there how many vendors is there click on here execute click on here execute so this many vendors is there actually this many vendors is there <coughs> this many vendors is there guys now the very very important is how many vendors how many vendors i had this many vendors i had how many mostly 11 vendors mostly 11 vendors so this 11 vendors i want to block i want to block at a time i want to block at a time guys for example for example if i use if i use fk02 if i use fk02 do the block yes you can do it no problem i want to use fk02 then i can block yes you can do no problem but if you want to block 200 vendors 1000 vendors if you use fk02 it will take lot of time five days six days seven days but if you use the t code mass 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 is a t code actually mass is the t code multiple master data field change at a time any field any field any master data gl master data customer master data vendor master data uh, cost center cost element profit center any master data any master data field change at a time multiple master data one or two you can use respective uh, like uh, t codes for example fk02 change uh, um, you know uh, vendor master data fd02 fd02 custom change customer master data like fs00 even fs00 also used for change gl master data and as02 change asset master data and uh, ks02 change customer cost centers and ka02 change uh, cost elements change cost elements okay and uh, any other thing guys any other things ke52 change customer master uh, profit center change profit center ke52 right 50 anyone anyone yes sir very good ke52 do one thing better note it down this sir huh? better note it down change vendor master change customer master change gl master change asset master change change cost center and change cost element and change profit center profit center any other any any anyone remember any other sir is it a ko02 huh? sorry ko02 new gl ko02 is uh, related with i think change in internal order ko02 uh. ha ko02 change uh, internal order right change internal yes. master data change internal master data internal order master data internal order yeah. <coughs> guys can you note it down can you note it down this 
this is the t code food dieting of this is the t code this is the uh, description description put it on full form this is the t codes and this is the description Done everyone? Done? Yes sir, anyone? Done? Yes? Yes sir. Yes. Yes sir. Done. Guys, concentrate here. Concentrate here. If you want to change, if you want to change one or two master data. Example, I want to change three master, three vendors. Then you can use FK02. If you want to change one or two, if you want to change one or two, then you can use these t codes one by one one by one one by one you can use but the thing is i want to change hundreds of vendors i want to change thousands of customers i want to change like hundreds of gls that time if i use these t codes if you use this t code lot of time it will take lot of time it will take it is not possible for example i want to change hundreds of vendors hundred vendors if i use fk02 changing one by one one by one one by one it will take lot of time maybe one day or two day or three days so instead of this t codes instead of this t codes i can use mass i can use mass instead of that t codes in the place of that t codes i can use mass multiple master data change at a time anyone do, do you people understand what is the difference between this t codes and this t code mass anyone any doubts anyone clear now can i go ahead sir yes sir Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, guys, concentrate here. Now, concentrate here. <coughs> example, guys. Example. Example. I have eleven vendors, guys. Example. I have eleven vendors. I want to do the block. I want to do the block of these vendors. Block of this vendor. Not only block. Any field. Any field in the master data. Any field in the master data. Okay, sir. Why master data? Why not the transactional data? Basically, guys, in the transactional data also, <clears throat> whatever possibility fields, only text related fields. If you want to change, you can use it. But other than text related fields, we can't change any transactional data. Okay. Once, if I post any accounting entry, if I post any accounting entry, I am unable to change anything. Except text related narration related things, I possible to change. Except that I don't want to change anything actually. Okay, I'll like uh, better. This is noted. Keep please keep it on your mind. Instead of change, we can do reversal concept. That is a different thing actually. Now come to the mass. Keep it on master data, multiple master data change at a time. Example, I want to do the block. Everyone, come to the block. Come to here. Mass, mass, multiple master data change at a time. Change at a time. Sir, before going to block, what can I do? Before going to do the changes, what can I do? First, you want to take the uh, thing. What field you want to change? not only block text anything short key whatever anything first you want to take the requirement from your team lead first try to understand the requirement from your team lead or from your client whatever what field you want to change on this field belongs to which table this is the field belongs to which table you can check in the google every time i don't want to there right you can check in the google okay my my team leader is giving i want to change the block 
so this is the block field belongs to which table which table table which table this block field information saved into which table example lf lf b1 lf b1 not only this for example i want to change gl master data short key so first you want to take which field you want to change example short key this short keys belongs to which table collect that table check in the google and take the table which table for example now i want to change vendors list vendors master data list i want to change the block i want to do the block so this block is belongs to lf uh, lf b1 the t code is called mass mass this is the field i want to change field i want to change this is the field in update in this is the table this is the table and this is the t code t code mass this is the t code in mass this is the vendor master list vendor master list whatever vendor master list so you can take the data like this you can take the data in like this in the real time you can collect the data first take open excel and collect the data first what master data you want to change gl master data vendor master data customer master data what master data you want to change take that master data list and what field you want to change take that field name and you want to take this is the field updated in which table example let's take that table check in the google or whatever or whatever or you can by heart read all the tables i can give you list of tables you can read all the tables actually okay then what is the t code you want to use mass what is the t code you want to use must mass okay mass so let's do that let's do that everyone concentrate here concentrate here everyone concentrate here let's go to mass mama mass okay go to m a s mass go to mass press enter button in the keyboard press enter button in the keyboard and guys concentrate here you want to select objective type you want to select objective type click on your browse click on your browse and guys now concentrate here guys concentrate here if you want to change profit center you want to select this is the one this is the standard guys objective type is the standard even real time also same objectives is there okay same objective type so if you want to change profit center select the profit center if you want to change uh, gl where is the gl uh, come down here gl select this if you want to change customer select this now what i want to change anyone please unmute and speak now what vendor. i want to change vendor master data vendor so select this select this select this vendor select this i'm repeating one second guys i'm repeating one second come to sap easy access screen i'm repeating one second go to mass press enter press enter objective type click on your browse and select your vendor vendor press enter button in the keyboard enter enter and click on your execute click on your execute click on your execute guys in case if you want to understand what is meant by mass you can uh, uh, like go through this uh, how it will work and all okay how it will work and all just go through this then click on your okay give it here your objective type click on your execute one pop up will come this is like a information pop up just go through this whenever you have the time okay 
click on your ok now like this will come so this is all our vendor master data tables this is all our vendor master data tables lfa1 lfb1 lfas lfb it will come automatically not required to enter anything it will come automatically so now my field my block field belongs to which table lfb1 lfb1 so select here your lfb1 where is that here here select this lfb1 this is the table lfb1 then click on your execute click on your execute yes okay in case if you want to read you can read it okay yes okay now guys concentrate here concentrate here uh, there is a one uh, here right there is a one uh, here choose selection field choose selection field which field you want to change concentrate here guys this is my tape vendors click on your more multi selections click on your more multi selection guys concentrate here very important huh? select this all the vendors control c copy now guys concentrate here here please cursor in the first field click on your clipboards clipboards here here clipboards upload from clipboards okay clipboards click on this all the things will come like this then okay copy and execute and what is your company code guys cm10 i have multiple company codes i have multiple company codes what can i do click on your multiple selection you can enter all the company codes no sir i have only one company code then you can take only one com cm10 then which field you want to change select your field here 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 choose selection field click on your choose selection field which field block i want to block there is a lot of fields guys all the fields is here all the fields fields is here this is the selection field now automatically selected vendor and company code one more field uh, what i want to do i want to block right let's check here where is the block go down go down everyone please check where is the block block all the fields is here all the fields ah payment block payment block and is there any other block guys is there any other block is there any other block hosting ah, block where is madam where is that p ah posting block posting block if i do the payment block only payments will going to block if i do posting block even invoice posting block payment uh, payment posting block credit memo debit memo block everything will going to block so select here respective field example i taken posting so whatever field you want whatever field you want to change select that field okay so example i am selecting posting block then click on this 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 radio button left come to left side click on your okay then okay like this see here block posting block will come posting block so click on your browse here you want to block or unblock yes i want to block then click on your execute and press enter Asking. 
No data selected. Guys, do one thing, guys. Do one thing. Don't select the field here. Don't select the field here. Simply you can enter vendor name and company code. Then click on here execute. Now here you can take the field. Huh? Here you can take the field. Here you can take the field. And uh, posting block. Face down, face down, face down. Where is that? Posting block. Move right side. Then OK. Block will come like this. Posting block. Then uh, click on this radio button, guys. Click on this posting block. Then go to sorry, edit. Apply for the changes. Apply for the changes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second, guys. Oh, it's not working. Okay. Select this column. Go to edit. Apply these changes. Yeah. Apply the changes. Select this field and uh, go to edit. Apply the changes. Guys, do one thing. I'm repeating once again, guys. Concentrate here. Slash and go back. I'm repeating once again. Concentrate here. Concentrate here. Everyone, concentrate here. I'm repeating once again. Go to MAS. Go to MAS mass. Everyone, I'm repeating once again. Maybe I feel you people confused. Uh, that is the reason I'm explaining once again. Go to mass. Press enter. Then select here objective variant. For example, I want to change the vendors. Then click on here execute. Yes. So that is the field belongs to which table? Example this table LFB1. Yes, execute. Yes. Now take the vendors and company codes. For example, I have couple of vendors actually. Couple of vendors. And uh, select this all the vendors. And uh, control C copy now uh, select here multiple selection and uh, place the cursor in first field and click on your clipboards upload from clipboards so all the like uh, vendors will come same process for customer same process for gl same process for other master data please keep it on your mind and enter your company code cm10 then click on your execute don't take the field here now okay now like ecc will not accepting anyway click on your uh, execute now here i want to take the field here i want to take the field how i can take here there here the same same selection field so what field do you want to change example i want to change block page down page down page down uh, anyone please where is that click on your posting block click on your move then okay then okay everyone please concentrate here now please concentrate here now click on your block click on your block so now i want to applicable for all the vendors even if you have only 11 vendors click on your one by one but you have thousands of vendors how you can so if you click on click 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 lot of time it will take I want to apply for all things so click on this and go to edit menu before going to select this entire thing select this go to edit menu apply changes apply then click on here save that's it that's it it will going to block it will going to block 
yes save and save click on here okay obviously it will take a lot of time guys even uh, in the real time also if you change multiple vendors multiple customer thousands of vendors it will take a lot of time okay see now everyone all the things will update like this changes has made it successfully changes has been made it successfully the notice will come like this this will come like this here changes has been made it successfully in case of any errors of any uh, master data here it will showing in the message okay do one thing guys it will block or not block i want to check it will block or not block i want to check randomly you can check it guys do one thing do one thing uh, for example fk02 change the master data what is the t code for create master data anyone fk01 ah fk01 fk01 create master create vendor master data display vendor master data fk fk03 fk03 randomly you can check a couple of vendors randomly you can check couple of vendors for example i want to check this one uh, go to fk03 fk03 enter and uh, give it here that uh, vendor ma copy the vendor and uh, vendor and uh, go to vendor master data check block and unblock see here block selected company code block postings is blocked do one thing do one thing let's do that let's post one invoice let's post one invoice go to fb60 post vendor invoice try to check it is blocked or not blocked go to fb60 press enter press enter fb60 post vendor invoice now i am trying to post vendor invoice so let's take document date and posting date and let's take any vendor here any vendor any vendor all the vendors are blocked example i am taking this vendor or any vendor all the vendors are blocked let's take any vendor here press enter button in the keyboard press enter see now everyone see now everyone see this one account this is the vendor number this is the company code is blocked for postings blocked for postings block everyone understood guys what i am telling yes. yes no okay yes sir yes sir understood yes sir do one thing do one thing same way let's do unblock let's do unblock i i did for block right i did block for let's do unblock unblock one second let's do unblock yeah, unblock let's do unblock same process same process same process let's take which vendor you want to unblock what is the field what is the table it will update what is the mass let's go to mass i'm repeating once again guys just like look like a repeat 
go to mass go to mass press enter and uh, click on your objective type which master data you want to change i want to change vendor then click on your execute yes and which table it will update example lf b1 then click on your execute yes and let's take the vendors click on your more selections and all the vendors you can take vendors copy and paste it and don't click on your paste select the first field and click on your clipboards and ok and ok then company code cm10 then click on your execute and now the select the field and which field i want to unblock the posting payment posting payment where is that madam posting posting block yeah posting block this is the one click on your ok now tick the block will come so all are selected more i want to unselect actually i want to unselect so once click on here and click on unselect select all select all the all the uh, column whatever now select all the columns unblock unblock here select all the columns now go to edit menu click on here apply for all changes see all are going like this now save yes see here all the changes has been made it go back now last time tick mark is there right last time tick mark is there actually if i go check in uh, fk03 if i check in fk03 there is a tick mark actually now the tick mark is not there let's check it out huh? go to fk03 enter and give it your vendor number and company code go to vendor and block and unblock last time there is a tick mark now no no tick mark everyone understood last time there is a tick mark here posting block yes no please please sir please respond anyone yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's tick mark is removed yes, like sir, this yes. not only block not only block any field any master data any company code mass bulkly you can change okay this is the mass guys uh, uh, any doubts anyone any doubts no sir no no okay so no, thanks sir. everyone thanks for joining let's meet tomorrow with a new important topic maybe tomorrow we will discuss lsmw lsmw is a very 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 important okay thanks everyone thanks for joining bye all guys i'm i'm repeating once again let's Thank do you, that sir. payments uh, please uh, please do the payments okay and uh, lakshmi ma'am call you please support thank you everyone